Taurus, hi. Your energy reading for the 19th to the 26th of August. Taurus. All right. You're going to excel at work this week. Something very good at work. What I'm seeing here is there's something also here about love. Should I stay? Should I go? Should I go back or should I stay away? A lot of overthinking here about love. Uncertainty. But a very big jump in your work situation. You fight the strengths that you should have with a soulmate. What the heck does that mean? You fight your own strengths. Are you seeing red flags and you're not doing anything about it and just sitting back and hope it goes away? Because I have a soulmate here that might be putting up red flags and you're not seeing them. Boy, I do have you hold on. What the hell is going on here, Taurus? What are you doing? What's happening? It's a heck of a week. You know, there's a lot of overthinking here. And I got to tell you, it's got something to do with a soulmate connection. And you see in red flags, but okay, yeah, I saw the red flags, but I choose to ignore them. And I'm still seeing red flags and I'm still choosing to ignore them. And all this does is just cause an unsettled mind it, it, you just really feel what the hell is going on here have you been suffering anxiety there's something here about love and it just makes you feel ungrounded is somebody overruling you or i really I, I can't figure it out nor do i really want to i don't even understand what this is but you get feelings of, of running, but yet you don't. It's like you stay in hopes that something will get better, or you hang on to someone who's gone in hopes that it will get better. There is something at work, though. Get ready for a jump at work. It's beautiful. And it will bring you more money. But it's not all about your work life. It's very, very much about your personal life here. By the weekend. By the weekend, there seems to be conversation that makes you... Okay. All right. I don't know who the hell is in your life here, Taurus. And why you feel that you can't speak up or you you feel uh, that you're you're fighting your own strength against this person. But I, I think it's time to sit down and have a chat with somebody. Now, this could be anybody. It doesn't have to be a love, even though I do see a soulmate. But a soulmate can be a brother, a sister, a mother, a father, uh, a cousin, a nephew. It could be anybody. But but what I'm seeing here, it's, it's just time to sit down and have a chat with somebody. Because you're really feeling that somebody's putting up tons of red flags and, and you're fighting your own strengths in order to fight these red flags from bothering you. It, it's time to speak up. So the weekend shows that possibility. Uh, the only thing is, is yeah, you're 1,000% correct. That if you do speak up, someone's going to pack up and go. But my God, darling, if you can't speak your mind, or if you can't have your own judgment, if you can't, if you can't be yourself, then what the hell is this, you know? you got to be yourself. you, you got to tell people, listen, you're crossing boundaries. Or, hey, was that a red flag? You know? But I do see, if you do speak up, <laughs> yep, I don't know who you're dealing with here. But if you do speak up, someone's going to take offense. So in one way you're right, I can't say anything because they'll go. And in another way, 
you're very wrong. Because the more bullshit that you take, the harder it is on you, spiritually, mentally, physically. Who's here? My God. So, I, I have a Gemini, I have a Cancer, I have an Aquarius. I have another Taurus, or Sagittarius. And there's a Scorpio. Oh, and there's a Capricorn. There's a lot here. Taurus, wow. good luck with that, darling. No wonder you're not speaking up. Namaste. Virgo, hi. Your energy reading for August the 19th through to the 26th. How's your day going so far, darling? Let's see if we can find out what's going to happen here. Let's go. Virgo. Okay. You're touch and go. You are healing but you're still walking a straight, thin line. But there is healing here, and it will lead you into um, a wonderful place once you are healed. But there's something here about uh, a sense of security. Now, I don't know if you're having a hard time paying the rent or paying bills because there seems to be difficulty uh, in a sense of security. Don't keep yourself awake at night over bills and how you're going to pay this and how you're going to pay that. What is, is, and what will be, will be. So take the moment as it is and accept the moment. Virgo, just accept the moment, darling. Now, there is a lot of overthinking this week about... Um, hold on. Hold on. Well... Okay, spirit saying stick together. Wow, large twin flame hitting the board. Wooey, wooey, woo. One, two, three, four. Hold on, I gotta show you. Let me see if I can wrap my arms around this, uh, this camera that is not. Okay, see that? One, two, three, four. Four. One, two, three, four. Look at that. One after another. Wow. Wow. Virgo. <laughs> and, and before those four came out, look. Nine of Cups. All right, somebody's meant to be in your life, and you and theirs. The two of you are exactly the same. And truthfully, with this next card coming out after it, the mind tornado, you don't see it that way. Now, if I met someone who was exactly like me, but I didn't really want um, them to be exactly like me, it's almost like a, a someone who is a, a doppelganger and trying to be like you, but they're not trying to be like you. They are you. This is an amazing Twin flame, but not toxic. Only thought makes it toxic. I hope you understand here. You're meant to be in someone's life, and they are meant to be in your life. Okay, work on it. This weekend, I want you to work on it. There's a possibility here of marriage in the future and near future. But you feel that someone is deceptive or that they're copycatting you or that they're just trying to appease you when you get upset they try to oh, oh now they talk to me like i'm a little baby or or they think that i'm stupid or and, and then when they're upset you you speak to them the same way you speak to them like it's okay and you try to appease the two of you are exactly the freaking same and here you are sitting and thinking about them, and there they are sitting and thinking about you. What the hell is wrong with the two of you here? This is a beautiful, beautiful connection that you have. And the only thing that breaks it up is the two of you thinking. 
That's the only thing that messes us up is the two of you thinking. <laughs> Come on, darling, get her on, get her done. So this is your one. This is the one. This is the one. This I tell you, four aces coming out like this. This tells me everything. It's time to work on this. And don't don't let yourself, don't let your mind make you believe that there's something else going on. Or that they're just trying to pacify me. Or I'm doing all the work. It's time to take a good look here. This is the one. You got a chance to make things right this week. Who's here? Gemini. Sagittarius. Aries, Taurus, Pisces, Cancer, Aquarius. These are the signs on the board. And Libra. These are the signs on the board. Wow. Wow, darling, you have you have found true love. Don't let the mind mess that up for you. Namaste. Capricorn. Hello, darling. We're going to do your energy reading for this week. August 19th to the 26th. Capricorn. Come on. Good week. Good week. All right. So you're building up your ego. And yeah, it's about freaking time, darling. Building up your ego and telling yourself, I am worthy. I am worthy. Oh, my God. This will bring you in. This will bring you in. Wow. <laughs> How do I word this? Except for, yeah. Damn, this is your week. This is your week. Hold on. Oh, 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 oh. beautiful. Beautiful week coming in for you, Capricorn. Damn, this all leads up into the future. This week brings in your future. All right? So be careful with how you say yes to and how you say no to. Or what you say yes to and what you say no to. This is the beginning of the beginning. And it's all about you. It's all about you. Now there is someone here, and I do have a Pisces on the board, and I have a Libra, and I have a Sag. And who else do I have? I have a Gemini, and I have a Taurus. And, and, and who else? Who else is here? And a Scorp. Okay. These, not these, but you, you are about to tell yourself some amazing stuff. And that amazing stuff is your very first card is the ego card. This is saying, you know what? I can form my world. I can do anything. I can do everything. I am the magician. I am the magi. I am the owner of what happens to me. And, and damn, Capricorn, I've got the, the nine of, of cups and the three of cups. And there's also a soulmate in here. I've got the king of cash. Is it coming this week? No, but this week is the beginning of understanding I am. Damn. Work on it. You got a ship coming in. Work on this. Oh my goodness gracious. Darn it. Adventure. Uh, something uh, happening at work. Good stuff. Adventure. Progress. If you're going to school, this is fantastic for school. This is getting her on and freaking getting her done. You got money coming to you. You got success coming to you. You, you've got dreams come true coming to you. You've got money. You, you've got uh, uh, um, excitement. You, you've got new beginnings. You, you've got uh, love. You've got uh, um, the three of cups. you got the celebration. It's all beginning this week. Believe it. Hold it fast to you. The seven of cups is coming in. Also with this mm, mm, opportunities new doors opening. Come on. Get her on and freaking get her done, darling. Beautiful. This is it. 
this is it. It's all up to you. It's all up to you. Namaste.